Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off, I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway, now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. So that's why good Master Brock needed an alpine seed. Clearly you have important matters afoot. That seed you found. Brock's Niflheim. If we're not going to Alfheim yet, it's probably best for Tyr to wait for us here. Namir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Do we have to be here? Creeping me out, all these poor bastards Wait, with their souls are those cut up. Odin's ravens? The ones we've been destroying all this time? So it would seem. Free are we, free of the Father. Our half wise now belong to no other. What do you think that means? I don't know, but there's definitely something more going on here. Soldiers we fought in Svartalfheim. Those were Anhariar? I thought Anhariar were just spirits in Valhalla until Ragnarok comes. They were no spirits. Indeed, brother. Odin appears to have found a loophole. Activated his forces early as a standing army. Perhaps something he could only do without any honest Valkyries around to stand in his way. Ah, there you are. 
I knew you hadn't forgotten me. Master Kratos, I would speak with you. Here, can you know ride a toaster? Of course. We were just catching up. Squirrels I've conversed with, he's easily the most dapper. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the Light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, the Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphine. <laughs> Did they now? Alphine. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here. That's where we'll find Groa Shrine. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah. So much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> Yikes. Fimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Fimble Winter. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. There, the Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. <laughs> Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? I no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? Yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. <laughs> There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Freya's brother. How was he involved? Long ago, Freya of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that piece fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. We're the ones who bring the light. Why are you fighting us? We helped you last time. Atreus, focus. I hate Alphonse. Impressive. Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. It's 
so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid Light. Guess some things don't change. Above the door. There's a light crystal. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. Oh. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimple winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power, and thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves, let me try talking to them again. They may just to let these two do their thing. <laughs> Behind your brother. <laughs> Here. They came across on light bridges, but now the bridges are gone. 
I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean you can't disfigure some architecture. This way! The shrine awaits. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple. And themselves, by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred. None more so than the light itself. Aye. The Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Go! There's more Twilight Stone up there. Another of Cavassier's poems. Gotta be a better angle on that fire. More light elves ahead. I'll handle this. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, there, friends. Salutations. We mean you no harm. Tear. Get back. Let's ride. Incoming. <laughs> They keep fighting. The Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. But the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Hmm. Fortifications. Aye. None too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. I suppose I'll leave you to it then. Uh, 
on the other side. Mm. Whoa, Tyr can really jump. <laughs> this mystic doesn't see us. There's twilight stone on the ground. We can continue up this way. Here they come. Do what you must. Lyor, throw your weapon at it! <laughs> how they're making light bridges. Look at this statue. <laughs> Crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. <laughs> I wonder, if this statue were to fall over the castle, Still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost there. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at least we're getting closer. Look up. See? It feels even taller on the inside. I can't believe all this was down here. Oh! Uh. 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 Uh.
Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. That angle isn't gonna work. <sighs> Fine job, brother. This way. We're almost there. still hear something wounded out there, Atreus. I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top once we find our way past yet another light door. Allow me to speed this up. The angle should work, Kratos. Well done. At your service. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time. But I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said You went he... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least.
What are you doing? I heard something. Father, she's... She's gone. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this Hive stuff up here. So many Dark Elves. I... All this time, I thought the Dark Elf King... I thought all the Dark Elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. There it is. Ah, you all made it! Welcome. Appreciate it. And in pristine condition, too. Fits. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Gonna keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? Have we more to talk about? Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. The Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look. Here. This is what we saw. It's you. Fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't. I can't. What's this then? That's new. Has 
Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, you. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. Perhaps we should focus on our egress first. Agreed. Here. 
is over. It is far from over. I... It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. No! Atreus! Ah! Hold on! Over here! You're chased! Hey, dear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I... I've... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. want to do the right thing and according to prophecy speak no more of prophecy war will not give you the purpose you seek atreus only slaughter so what are we supposed to do roll over do nothing enough we will discuss our next move when we are out of danger 